Persian Bombers head to the back nine of the season as the Prairie Rivals collide the ninth annual Banjo Bowl. Tim Burke liked to forget his CFL head coaching debut. Hope his Bombers do as well. And the Riders will kick into a breeze in this opening quarter. And you can see the wind holding it up. First Milo to punt. Just over two minutes remaining in this first quarter. Yep. And Washington will get the 15 yard, no yards, but he'll do better than that. Come on, Washington. His second punt return touchdown of the year. It's an 81 yarder. He had an 82 yard punt return touchdown early in the year against Montreal. Going right down that rail, it's all acceleration and speed from there and a great cutback and then back to the sideline. Well, we mentioned the next stream that Gary and Durant suffered last week. Apparently might be bothering him or there might be something else because Drew Willies into the game, touchdown last week, but that game was decided when he came in. And here's the pass into the backfield and Neil Hughes upended by Jonathan Hefty. Inside the 40, looks at second and three. And Corey Sheets will dive. And get a little extra for the first down. And here come the Bombers. Second and ten, they screen at the Sheets. Gets a block, and he has a pass down to the ten. Corey Sheets, touchdown. 33-yard touchdown as the Rough Riders beat the Blitz. Blitz coming, you're right, Chris, right down the middle. Marcellus Bowman, and a nice call on the screen. Push down, handoff, Sanders. Oh, Doc Sanders! Stumbled on his own, and he still falls forward to the Winnipeg 35-yard line. What an afternoon he's had. Well, he stands here, running it down the sideline, and it's caught by Dressler. Weston Dressler working against Jonathan Hepney, and it's a 28-yarder. First and goal. Two backs. Second man through. Corey shoots. Touchdown. Second of the game. And ninth of the year for Corey Sheets. Never touched it. Oh, there's trouble, and Chris Milo kicked the ball right into the oncoming traffic. And what a way to start in the fourth quarter for the Bombers. This block after a mishandled snap by Milo. And quarterback option, and he'll be stopped short. Wow. There's lots of football to be played. I, I like this decision. Take the points. And Polardi will take the points. One point game. Takes to Simpson, gets it in the hands of Denmark. Denmark brought down inside the 30-yard line. Worst loss in Winnipeg history, second and 10. Right the hands of Edwards incomplete, and Pilardi and the field goal team have to come on from 30 yards out for the lead. And Justin Pilardi makes no mistake. Didn't help Grant Shaw by getting it much closer. Here's Simpson, and he's going to get stopped, Then it will be a field goal of about 43, 44 yards now. Oh, they're going to punt it here. A field goal still wins a single. Might prevent a, a game-tying single by Saskatchewan, but this is surprising, isn't it? it? It is. One would think Renault's trying to keep this in play, but it's going to reach the end zone. That doesn't help. And didn't try to pin him. It is a single point and somewhat baffling. Yeah, I, I think you got to try it. You got to try a field goal there. That's a, a very field goal now wins for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. That's right. And they get the ball at the 35. Second and inches. Willie trying to go downfield. He's got Brooks Foster at the 45 yard line. 15 seconds left, and now they're maybe one more completion away from DeAngelis range. And Stunning help. stuff here. Still needs 10 or 15 yards, you'd think. Stepping up here. Taking off, and now down, four seconds left. And they'll get a chance for Sandro DeAngelis from 37 yards out to win. He has missed from 
above this spot earlier against the wind, but to win the Banjo Bowl. The Angelus is up, and it's good. The Saskatchewan Rough Runners improbably have won this game. And a controversial decision by a rookie head coach and another loss as the Rough Riders probably win the Banjo Bowl.